Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 3rd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. No major solar flares, but it's been in the strong C-class flare range for the past two days. Other than that, no major solar flares or coronal mass ejections to update you with. But having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have some large sunspot regions turning into view. As well, plasma prominence stretching from the surface of the sun, looking at outgoing here. Big Earth-facing sunspot region right now, 3878 and 3879 are beasts. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Again, no major solar flares or coronal mass ejections, but notable sunspot regions as we have 10 of them that are Earth-facing right now. And as well, coronal holes that are turning away. Another one turning into view is southern region, matching antipode in the north. 191 angstroms here. Amazing way to see our sun today. Brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for watching. Right now we have 9 Earth-facing sunspot regions. 3879 and 3878 are big. Having a look at these sunspot regions in motion. Notable the fast-moving departing sunspot regions. Equatorial. Amazing stuff. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1. Minor radio blackout impacts expected. Minor degradation to high-frequency radios expected. Solar winds are coming in at 488 kilometers per second. Solar proton or solar x-ray flux. As you can see here in a high sea range and has been throwing minor M-class uh, solar flares the last two days. About six of them to be exact. Geomagnetic activity hanging out at a KP3 ahead of our next space weather event, which is expected tonight and into tomorrow. Having a look here at the corona mass ejection that is on its way. Expected arrival at about 10 to 11 p.m. tonight and then occurring into the 4th. ISWA space prediction spiral showing an outgoing CME towards Venus. Other than that, again, no new coronal mass ejections. Little yellow circle on the right-hand side is Earth. Getting ready for the next cosmic instability. Tonight's aurora forecast versus tomorrow's. A little bit stronger tonight than tomorrow. Lasco 3 showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energies leaving our sun. Again, no major coronal mass ejections to report. Just minor explosions on our sun. Plasma filaments ripping away. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. As we did have a sizable earthquake, Alaska, 5.8 earthquake. Adak, Alaska, at a 33-kilometer depth. And then seismicity started increasing in Hawaii. Lots of earthquakes today, largest being a 4.0. Steel, Missouri, 3.7, pretty rare earthquake. Minor seismicity across the west and into the Pacific Northwest. USGS is only reporting 172 earthquakes the past 24 hours. That is extremely low. Normally we are on average of 200. But minor activity right across the New Madrid here. You've got Idaho, and Tennessee, Missouri, and then Lead Hill, Arkansas. Earthquakes down into Mentone, Texas. Increasing seismicity at Hawaii. And then a notable 5.8 earthquake. Adak, Alaska, just south of Sesame Pochnoi, which is an active volcano through the Aleutian Islands. Carrying on here, Puerto Rico, pretty quiet. 
South American plate. Argentina here, Barrancas with a 5.4, 189 kilometer depth. Bolivia rocking a 4.7. Bouvet Island region, 4.9. 5.2 earthquake there. Greece, that's a pretty sizable earthquake for the North Mediterranean. And as well, Iran earthquakes here, 4.2 and a 4.6. Notable earthquakes through the region. And then having a look here across the Pacific Northwest, Ring of Fire, Guam, Marianas Trench, lots of activity, and a deep earthquake here, Fiji region, 573 kilometer depth. We can expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world quick browse at the last seven days for shakers and movers across this amazing planet largest being the 6.0 or 6.2 magnitude earthquake bend in oregon other than that it's been pretty quiet notable earthquake wreck james ridge south of iceland apparently iceland has opened up yet again large fissure opening up in Iceland. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected worldwide. To all natural disasters, extreme weather. And if you live around a volcano or around a lagoon, it's no fault of your own. Thoughts and prayers. That was a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes as they are now 66 active and erupting. Notable eruption coming out of Mexico from Popo and as well Eastern Russia, Kamchatka. Not the greatest air quality across the United States or Eastern Canada right now or through the Congo region of central regions of Africa. Mount Etna spewing lots of ash and particulates and sulfur dioxide into our atmosphere. Having a look over Southeast Asia and Australia. No new SO2 plumes to be noting here today and no new volcanoes awakening. Thank God. We don't need more than what we have right now. Now let's have a look at world weather as we do have an extreme weather event unfolding across central United States and it will flood into parts of northern Ontario. Snow will be falling from the west coast and sweeping eastward throughout the week as well as the cold temperatures. Watch for snow as far south as Albuquerque, New Mexico and definitely Colorado as they're going to see about 30 centimeters of snow over the next 10 days. Overlooking Europe and Africa, parts of Southeast Asia, big high pressure ridge moving in for most of Europe. That should help with the efforts of cleanup and recovery through Spain. Again, thoughts and prayers to everybody affected in throughout Spain with that extreme weather event. Overlooking Australia, and the Northwest Pacific. Watch for a tropical system here to develop and affect parts of northern Philippines. Big high pressure ridge north of it keeps it locked southward. Then watch it trek westward towards Thailand in the long range and another one forms in behind. Other than that, no major cyclones, hurricanes or typhoons forecast for our world over the next 10 days. Just lots of moisture and lots of snow. Having a look here at snowfall totals. Anything red and higher is 200 centimeters and higher. Oranges, we're sitting at about 100 centimeters. Parts of Colorado and northward, you will see 30 centimeters of snow over the next 10 days. As the polar vortex is setting up and winter is right around the corner, my friends and family. Stay warm and stay aware and prepared. Huge blizzard systems here developing over Russia. And these are all set to start swinging around our planet and affecting most of North America 
enveloping us into winter. Let's have a quick glance at our polar vortex. This is our southern polar vortex right now overlooking Antarctica as we still have a split vortex and in the north very oblonged stretching down to pretty much the Gulf of Mexico upper level winds depicting our polar vortex we had a very windy few days right across North America thanks to these upper level jet streams as we are getting ready for winter and again thanks everybody for watching today i hope you enjoyed the show if you did please don't forget to give a thumbs up get in the comment section let us know where you're watching from stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do.